Hey guys, so I just wanted to share something really quick. Um, hopefully, hopefully this helps somebody else. It's something that I had to learn, so I just wanted to share it. So when I turned 26, I decided that I would move the term try um, from my vocabulary. Not necessarily completely from my vocabulary, but just in my pursuit of doing things. So for me now, it's either do or don't do commit or don't commit to it um i'm gonna tell you the reason i had to do that so the examples that i'm gonna use are prep so prepping for a, a competition so this is what would happen let's say you asked me if i was doing a show and i said oh i'm gonna try to do it or i might do that or i think i will do that notice there's no commitment there it's all up in the air Okay, so I would do stuff like that, and then when it comes time for the prep to hit, my commitment wouldn't be there to make sure my meals are made. My commitment wouldn't be there to make sure I'm doing what I had to do in the gym. It would be like, oh, well, if I miss it today, oh, well, eh, eh, I might do the show. I don't really know if I'm going to do it then with the meals it would be like oh well i ended up eating this that and the other or i didn't prep so i had to go grab this and that eh, whatever i'm probably not gonna do the show i don't know yet we'll see how i feel versus if i say i'm doing a show and it's like i'm there's no excuse i'm in the gym if it's if it's a matter of cardio and i miss cardio for one night i'm up in the morning doing extra cardio on top of the cardio that I was gonna do and then that night I'm hitting my cardio it's just the effort is different when you commit to something if I put this right here if I put this right here and I say I'm gonna try to lift it and then I start and I feel like it's a little more weighty than I was expecting I could just drop in and walk away from it because I said I was gonna try I didn't say I was gonna lift it if I say I'm going to lift it like a sure commitment and I come over here and I pick it up and the same thing happens it's like oh it's a little weighty I'll put it down but because I'm committed to lifting it I'll keep coming up keep coming to lift it up until it can be lifted that happened to me when I um when I started back deadlifting oh yeah I want to I want to deadlift 225 I want to blah 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 you bet you can bet your grandma's best wig Every time I came to the gym, that 225 had to come off the ground. And I kept doing it over and over, day after day, until that 225 rose from the dead. No, let me stop. No, but seriously, kept doing it again and again until it actually came up because I was committed to it. It didn't matter that it was heavy. The jump was heavy. The jump was heavy when I wanted to PR that... um. 250 you should have seen me i have the footage i might release it i was upset i was upset in the gym i was like there's no way i know i can do this i know i can do this pacing come back try and 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 pull it up again or in this case i can use that term but because i was committed to it versus if i would have said i'm just gonna try to do it and mm, oh that's heavy child next i'm gonna go over here and squat you know what i mean i feel like when we say we're trying we're gonna try to do something we leave the door open for us to would it be renege we leave the door open for us to turn around and be like nah that ain't it eh, i tried literally i tried whole time you're actually able to do it if you just keep going but yeah i tried another thing i realized it would do like saying that i was gonna try it would make me not feel bad about the fact that i didn't put forth full effort and i see this a lot with personal training and stuff too hey like are you doing your meal plan oh i'm trying to do it but i don't have time i don't have time for this and that Okay, you don't you don't have time to cook your food. You don't have time to grocery shop. Okay, I understand. And then the next week they come back. 
Are you doing this? Oh my gosh, I don't like this and that. Well, are you doing this? No, I was trying. Obviously, you're not doing it. So the answer is no. All of that trying mess is either yes or no. Are you doing it? I'm trying, so no, you're not doing it. And a, th a thing that people like to throw around, we throw time around so bad, it's ridiculous. I don't have time, I didn't have time. I don't have time, I didn't have time. I'm, I'm telling y'all, last night I had to go to Boston Market to buy myself, just one person, a family meal so that I can split that sucker up today so I wouldn't have to miss any meals because I didn't have time to cook. I didn't have time to go to the store. But because I'm committed, when there's a will, there's a way, baby. <laughs> if you got to go to Pollo Tropical and order two large rices and two whole chickens and get you some, some steamed vegetables, when there's a will, there's a way. All that I'll try, I'm trying, you keep on trying and you'll keep on saying, seeing the same half butt results that you don't like. Yes or no? No excuse. Yes, feel bad when you decide. <sighs> feel bad when you decide not to put your full effort forth. The Lord has given us the strength to put our full effort forth. There's a difference between someone that is fully committed, doing all that they can do, putting their best foot forward and receiving a result that is less than what they thought versus someone that tried, put half the effort in, a quarter of the effort in, and got that same rinky-dink result. The committed person, because you did all you could do, the result that you got is just fine. That is good. That's all you could do. If you're just trying, you don't truly know what you can do because you didn't fully apply yourself. You gave yourself a way out. You literally gave yourself a reason to not fully go all in. Yes or no. Do or don't. Try or commit. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Like I had, I had to, the Lord had to correct me. You, oh, you're going to try. Okay. So while you're over here trying, I'm going to send little Samantha forward and she's going to do, and it's going to be this. The result is going to be this. And you'll never know if that could have been you because you're over here trying. Oh, I want to see this and that result. I'm trying to do this and that. So what you're, you're basically saying, you're not doing all that it takes. You're not doing all that it takes. Anyways, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I know that there is somebody that was doing, that is doing what I was doing. Bro, stop. Just commit, man. That When you, because the term failure and success is thrown around so much. I don't think people truly know or understand what it really means to, to fail or to succeed. But I want you to know, if you've done all that you can do, like if you've literally committed and and done all that you can do, you are successful no matter what the result looks like. If it doesn't work out, that's cool. You did all you could do. What more do you want? What more do you what more do you want? If you're simply trying and you're backtracking and it's whatever and the results come out terrible, you should feel some kind of way because you didn't put in your full effort. You didn't. What did you expect? What, were you really expecting greatness from, from lack of commitment? Were you really expecting the best results from going in this much when you had you have this much in you, but you decided to give this much and you were expecting the results of this? Bro. The Lord corrected me. Oh, it has been corrected. And because the commitment to be better and do better is there, 
Success, success is the only thing I can see. That's all I see. Success. But yeah, you guys, um, yeah. I just wanted to share that. Y'all remember the Lord and have a good day.